Uh, Don't ask about my face because I cut it shaving. Izzy Navares. At least I think that's how you say his name. Don't count on it if you're new here. Just understand they get names wrong every single time. You might have heard of him, honestly. He's a small YouTuber. Did gain some fame back in the day. And he went from looking like this to this. How can you accomplish something like this? Well, it starts with delusion and it ends with it as well. <laughs> the man who started out as a fitness influencer and successful online coach then ended as a bizarre and in his own words, troll-like creature. All for the pursuit of mass, size, and strength. Now, we have to figure out what happened to him and what you should do to avoid being like him. As he starts out pretty popular, looking as to be what is a normal human being, not jacked out of his mind, but not an unhealthy guy, definitely fit, something most people would probably see for themselves or want to be for themselves. He's smart, he's posting content that people can relate to. Then, then my friends, we have a guy who starts taking some gear and his persona completely changes into, well, albeit a, an amazing physique, a really good physique into sort of an egomaniac looking to do the extreme. I mean, if I went all in, if I sacrificed everything, 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 if I sacrificed everything, how big, how strong, I will have an answer to that question. Now, Izzy believed that one must use gear to reach their fullest potential and that they simply wouldn't know their fullest potential until they had. Izzy also was a huge fan of progressive overload, even if that meant getting really sloppy with training and getting really sloppy with body composition, all to achieve a little bit more strength. And many people warned him, even Mike Isertel, in fact, on many different occasions to slow things down, to control the weight better, and to not focus so much on just the weight itself. And there was actually a point in time where Izzy said he was going to stop doing all of this. But the notion that bigger and stronger isn't always better never really came across to Izzy's mind. You see, early on, Izzy said he would do everything that he can to get to his goal, whatever that meant. I mean, if I went all in. He wasn't going to be satisfied until he did everything in his power, gear, food, and it all. And due to this, Izzy had excessive weight gain. And the drug use was probably horribly misguided, and he ended up becoming morbidly obese. I have to shout out to a YouTuber, Solomon Nelson, who did a really amazing edutainment series on Izzy, and I have to say it was amazing. Great scripture, my friend. But he gave me a lot of the insight for this video, and to be honest, I have to thank him because I wouldn't have learned about Izzy before this. But I think Izzy is this really great embodiment of what a lot of young individuals who start out taking gear would think and suddenly they within a five-year span realize what these things are actually going to do to them here is the critical feature back in the video where izzy was tan looking really good jacked as all hell most people again would think that this physique is highly desirable and would call it good there he said that his goal was to look someone like larry wheels so to be jacked and aesthetic but also strong but izzy's confusion with size distorted his reality and his self-image became something completely detached from the original goal of looking like Larry Wheels. And because Izzy was, and I'll give it to him, very dedicated and believed that quitting was ultimately impossible and it was inherently bad, didn't stop him if he started to look a little bit out of what he wanted or look in a, <laughs> to be honest, everything wrong, like injure himself, his health was bad. He likely had some form of diabetes because he has having nocturia all throughout the night, peeing multiple times a night. So he morphed this initial goal that he had of getting to this end result, which was supposed to be Larry Wheels-esque into something that was completely irresponsible. And his goals of being an I pf world champion were never even realized he never even competed once and his failure to reassess his goals priorities and where he wants his life to go likely led to this event and subsequently the downfall of a human who could have been really great and successful in this industry now what social media does to someone like izzy is pretty bad it highlights a brief moment in someone's career they're highly successful on steroids this is called a survivorship biased is 
well said by my friend who made the video, is very clear that a lot of people perceive this survivorship biased online as a route into taking steroids or a reason that they should take steroids. Toji, for example, someone who's posting chronically these days, is the person we're talking about in this scenario. He might have minimal reactions, but another person to his left or right could have life altering reactions that don't take long to realize either. I think Izzy's story is such a great reason that we need to look at balance. And I've told many clients this who are on the pursuit of bodybuilding to take time to look at their goals, to really, really think about what it is they want to achieve in life. And if bodybuilding is that, or if it's just the comfortable thing that they feel like they can nestle into for their little safety blanket. What I encourage people to do is diversify their experiences in life. And don't just attach your ego to one specific ideal outcome, detach it to many possible outcomes and get really familiar with those outcomes. Because one day, believe it or not, you could go from this to this and be in a boat where <laughs> you never wanted to be in in the first place. And it was all because you created the delusion that there was no other option for you. But that's about it, guys. I, uh, tough video. Shitty things happen to good people. And it seems like Izzy wasn't a bad guy. He just was a confused guy. And he won't be remembered as someone who had uh, achieved his genetic potential or someone who competed in these uh, amazing competitions because he never actually competed in one. He literally dispensed his entire aesthetic career online and fitness and audience to just chase something that wasn't even real in the first place. And a lot of bodybuilders do this too.